Dorothy Gibson was born Dorothy Winifred Brown to John A. Brown and Pauline Caroline Boson on May the 17th, 1889. On the 17th of March, 1912, after starring in a number of movies as a successful actress, Dorothy and her mother Pauline took a trip to Europe for a number of weeks until Dorothy was called back to the studio for work. Dorothy and her mother were in Paris when they boarded their ticket on the maiden voyage of the RMS Titanic and boarded at Cherbourg on the 10th of April. On the night of the sinking, Dorothy had spent a pleasant Sunday evening playing bridge with a couple of friendly New York bankers. Her words, as stated in an interview with the New York Dramatic Mirror, despite the request of a steward for them to finish, they carried on with their game and it was not until about 11.40pm that Dorothy returned to the stateroom she shared with her mother. It was at that point that she felt a long-drawn, sickening crunch. While not exactly alarmed, she decided nonetheless to investigate and quickly noticed that the deck was lopsided. She rushed back to her room to fetch her mother and the pair returned to the boat deck. She and her mother were part of the first lifeboat launched, number seven, and given how quiet it was on the boat deck at the time, she asked her bridge partners to join them. However, events took a turn for the worst when a hole was found in the bottom of the lifeboat, causing icy cold water to rush in and almost flood the boat. Luckily though, Dorothy explained, this was remedied by volunteer contributions from the lingerie of the women and the garments of the men. After the event, Dorothy told the moving picture world, I will never forget the terrible cry that rang out from people who were thrown into the sea and others who were afraid for their loved ones. Although we cannot begin to imagine the terrors of that night or the emotional damage it caused to those that survived, Dorothy is famous for not only surviving the sinking, but also starring in a film in May 1912, exactly one month after the sinking. Dorothy's most famous screen role was that of herself in Saved from the Titanic, which is based off of her own experiences. It was released in May 1912 and was the first of many films about the event. Dorothy not only starred in the drama, but also wrote the screenplay. She even appeared in the same clothing she had worn when aboard the Titanic the night of the sinking. A white silk evening gown topped with cardigan and polo coat. Although Saved from the Titanic was a great success in America, Britain and France, there is no known copies still existing of the film as all of the known prints were destroyed in a fire in 1914. She retired from filming after the release of Saved from the Titanic in May 1912 and it can be noted that Dorothy was the highest paid movie actress in the world at the time of her premature retirement. In her brief but eventful cinematic career, she had appeared in an estimated 22 Eclair films and in an unspecified amount while a part of Lubin and Imp Studios. Although we don't know to what extent the events changed her, she did go on to pursue a choral career and even was an alleged intelligence operative in the 1940s of World War II. Thank you for watching and to support our channel, please do not forget to subscribe.